Nigeria's northern region is usually mistaken for one homogeneous entity by outsiders. In reality, it is very diverse. A combination of the proliferation of small weapons made possible by a lot of ungoverned spaces and porous borders, already existing state corruption, mass unemployment, and a history of extremism and fundamentalism has largely been responsible for the rising criminality and violence in northern Nigeria. Climate change, desert encroachment, and animosity between nomadic cattle rarers and agrarian communities make for a potent powder keg that is easily ignited. As nomadic herdsmen in search of pasture move southwards into predominantly farming communities around Benue, which is dubbed Nigeria's food basket, tensions flared, which led to armed confrontations, mass killings, and displacement of some farming communities. This was in addition to already strained relations between various ethnic groups in the area. Data from the International Crisis Group indicates that in the first half of 2018, 1,300 people were killed in herder versus farmer conflicts, while Amnesty International reports indicated that between 2016 and 2018, 3,641 persons have been killed, with 57% of the casualty figure from 2018 alone. The 2016 SBM intelligence report on violence in northern Nigeria stated that 1,355 casualties were recorded in 36 incidents in northern Nigeria. In Nigeria's northeast, a group known as Boko Haram has conducted an insurgency for over a decade. The ideology of the group is based on strict adherence to the Quran, the pursuance of jihad by true Muslims, and opposition to the Nigerian state, which it considers to be anti-Islamic. Data from the Nigerian Security Tracker Project of the Council for Foreign Relations CFR, puts the total number of deaths from the Boko Haram conflict between 2011 and the end of 2019 at 37,009. Across the north, governors have failed to get a handle on the rise in banditry and kidnapping, as treaties and peace pacts have been reneged on almost as soon as they were brokered, and new legislation such as the death penalty for cattle rustling and kidnapping have failed to yield desired effects. A ban on illegal mining activities in Zamfara State was ignored. Most of the weapons used to facilitate the violence across northern Nigeria, especially the northeast and northwest, are foreign-made, smuggled through multiple points of entry through border towns in Sokoto, Katsina, and Niger, usually originating from Ivorian or Libyan stockpiles. Counting the cost of violent state actors in northern Nigeria paints a gruesome picture. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, the Boko Haram insurgency has displaced over 2 million people in the Lake Chad Basin area, including 244,000 Nigerian refugees, over 2 million internally displaced people in Nigeria, over 550,000 internally displaced people in Chad and Cameroon. The most affected regions in Nigeria are Nigeria's northeastern states of Adamawa, Bauchi, Bornu, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe. The 2019 Global Terrorism Index reports that herdsmen militia killed more people than Boko Haram in 2018. And while the specific number for casualties due to banditry and kidnapping is hard to put together, the increasing spate of attacks is worrisome. The government must take a multifaceted approach towards this problem that includes border security, economic empowerment, active intelligence gathering, and better policing of communities before this malaise gets irrevocably out of control.